So Retrobit finally has given out some information concerning the Tribute 64 2.4 gigahertz wireless Nintendo 64 controller. We've been waiting a while to find out about this. We've seen it, but we didn't know when it was coming. We've been waiting, right? So we got a lot of new information when it's coming out, a special edition. I'm gonna be giving one away at some point. They're gonna be sponsoring a giveaway. I am gonna be getting my hands on one for purpose of review a little early, so stay tuned for that. That's probably around when we're gonna do the giveaway. There's a special edition one. I think it's pretty sweet, but if you remember, a while back, they did put out the uh, Tribute 64 original port wired and USB controllers. I really enjoyed them. I still use them. Uh, it was kind of, I think, a, a love it or hate it affair with these controllers. They were, you know, styled after the Hori pads uh, that are very expensive. Holy crap. And they're, they're kind of small. I mean, some people just don't like that. They did wind up rearranging things. I think they took you know, community feedback, because I saw one of the biggest uh, criticisms people had was they didn't like the placement of the D-pad. So with this wireless one, as you could see, it looks like they moved like the analog stick up and over a little bit and then moved the D-pad over a bit. I do believe the wireless version is slightly bigger than the original one that they put out. I remember bringing that up, like, man, like 10, 15% bigger would be awesome. Not 100% exactly how much bigger this thing is, but it does seem to be slightly bigger, so that is definitely cool. One of the big features here for a lot of people, we're gonna look at some images, the special one as well in a second here, built-in rumble. What? Now, you can't use the rumble and memory card port at the same time, kind of, you know, as if you were using the original controller. You can only have memory card plugged in or a rumble pack, right? Now, a lot of games didn't even use a memory card. Now, that's fine. You know, it's just a situation you got to be aware of from looking at all this stuff. But that built-in rumble, to not have to worry about it, because with these wireless controllers, that's been one of the issues is you could plug in the rumble pack into the dongle that plugs into the Nintendo 64, and maybe it rumbles. Why the hell would you want to do that? And your table's rumbling. You want that rumble action in your hands. And that's what they're doing here. So that is pretty cool. Now we do have some images. Let me pull this up. The Tribute 64 images. We have some real life images, some you know render type action, but they're gonna be releasing these coming up very soon. Pre-orders go live tomorrow. There's two standard colors and then a special limited edition. You're already seeing kind of that you know stuff in the background there, but you're gonna have the classic gray these are $40 controllers, you know, no matter which one you get, they're 40 bucks. So then they're going to have the atomic purple. Maybe they'll do more colors in the future, but you know, I think this is fine. You get both the USB dongle and the original port dongle. You could use this thing on the Nintendo switch PC, tons of different devices with USB inputs. You know what I'm saying? Or the original Nintendo 64. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Got a little bit of the packaging action going on there. Their Platinum Series, the controllers, pretty sweet stuff. I think Retrobit's been really stepping up their game with everything they're doing. Now, with wireless Nintendo 64 controllers, it was kind of a thing for the longest time. We didn't have very many options. Now all the options are coming at us in all directions, hitting us in the face. We got one from Hyperkin a while back, which I absolutely despised those controllers. I didn't like them, man. I know some people did. I just didn't like them. And then Retro Fighters put theirs out, and I think those are really good controllers as well. Can't wait for these to come out, for me to get my hands on the final production version, share my thoughts with you guys, then do some comparisons. I think it's really going to boil down to the form factor, you know, that kind of thing, the, the analog stick. We'll be doing testing on all that. Like I always do with all these controllers when they come out, I run the analog stick testing, give you guys some you know, video footage of testing the analog, get you the numbers for it, how sensitive and all that stuff is. So stay tuned for that. We'll be doing that pretty soon from what I understand. Um, there's some more packaging for the Atomic Pazurple. Here's a, a real life uh, lifestyle image. Um, looks like this one had gone through some, some work, went through some work here. This one had to have been a, a test unit that they, they just, you know, played everything they could, right? Another little render action. The renders, you know, they they sometimes, man, people be putting out renders and it's like not even anywhere near the final product. Their renders typically look like the final product. So I give them, I gives them that. There's the uh, original, 
classic gray, as they would call it, coming down from outer space, like stealing cows and people. And you know what's up. Them grays, man. Play it on the Nintendo Switch. Play that Super Mario 3D All-Stars Mario 64 with the RetroBit 2.4 gigahertz wireless controller. Why not? Now, I, I like the Nintendo 64. I like it quite a bit. And having these wireless controllers, like for the longest time, I was kind of standoffish with wireless controllers because nobody was really doing them that great. And people that were, they were putting out Bluetooth controllers, not for the Nintendo 64 necessarily, but I just, it took me a while because a lot of the Bluetooth stuff, it just didn't feel right. And then a lot of these companies started getting on board with the 2.4 gigahertz with the lower latency and whatnot. And it's just, you know, I've, I've, I've been embracing it. So I, I can't wait to test these out with you guys. A little more render action from behind the butt, the butt of the, the controller here. There we go. Here's the uh, special edition. Now there's only going to be so many made of these. They're going to be going up on Castlemania Games and a few other places, I'm sure, you know, for other countries, other regions. I just know Castlemania Games is going to have it. I'll have links in the description if you want to check this out. But this is going to be limited. I believe these ones are listed to come out May. And then the other two colors come out shortly after that. They all should come out around the same time. But I think the Ultra Edition is the one that's going to come out first. as just like a limited edition. Now, it does have that basic look. But I freaking dig it. It's got that black and white Ultra 64 styling going on. And I, I think that's pretty sweet. I, I like the style there. Just black and white gray action. That's looking pretty sweet. I, 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 I likes it. I likes it a lot. Here's real life image. Boom. Can't wait. Can't wait to check this out. I need like eight of them. Damn it. <laughs> eight of them. Yeah, I've been, I, I think these guys have been doing pretty good with the, the controllers, so I can't wait for this, but also, man, what about the Dreamcast, the six button, face button controller, Retrobit, where's that at? I needs it, dude. There's another real life image, you know, these are like, I, I would imagine these, these aren't final production models, these are probably early like approval testing type things that they, they messed around with, I, I would imagine anyway, um, but they, they look good, you know, they don't, they don't have like, I think if I remember correctly, like the Hyperkin ones, I just didn't like, they were like flat. And these, and even the, the Retro Fighters, they all have kind of a curve to it, just more comfortable. Spe you know, you're not getting like jabbed on the, the corner of your thumbs and shit. And it's just, it's not like you're holding a plate in your hand. Like, give me some potato salad and a hot dog on top of my controller because it just looks like a freaking plate. No, all these controllers, they got that, that curvature going on, that comfort level. And with these being a little bit bigger than these, and things spaced out, uh, that's probably going to be my preference when it comes to retro bit stuff. But like I said, we will be doing like some testing uh, once, you know, this is available to the public and everything is out there. You know, I'll do my review and then I'll do the testing comparing to everybody's shiz out there. Give you guys my thoughts and final impressions on these controllers. But I can't wait for this. Um, really looks awesome. Like I said, we will be doing a giveaway when I do my review of it once I get my hands on one. Um, which we'll be doing the testing on the analog stick and all that stuff in that video, but we'll be doing a giveaway then for the special edition one. That's what I was told. I'll get a special edition one to give away the ultra edition. So stay tuned for that. Just want to give you guys a heads up. Links in the description to Retro Bits information, Castlevania games, all that good stuff, whatever else I could throw down there. Peep it out. Peace out. Bye bye. Big ass thumb button your face and boom. Bye.